Yo, 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 what's up? It's Cups, your boy, the universe, aka PD Mossberg, aka Poet Lounge. And we back with a marvelous conversation, an extraordinary ponderation. Hmm. Yo, I was thinking, can people actually merge with like demons? Right? Because demons are like spirits. And, like, humans are, like, you know, beings, but, you know, physical. Spirits are less physical, right? Like, is it a way that demons, like, attach to a person, right? Through making them grant them, like, acts for wishes and, you know, uh, you know, granting these deeds for them or whatever. And then, like, the beginning stage, they grant it, now they got them, like, in a tie. And then, like, as... It goes higher, like as it gets more, the wishes get bigger, right? Like it gets to a point where that they at the peak, where they at the peak, um, like being able to use that power without it consuming them, and then a point where they either merge with it or it consumes them, it becomes them, right? Now I was thinking about that, and it makes a lot of sense. But then I was like, yo, I need some examples, right? So, when I play the video game Metal Gear Solid, uh, the one where he has his own military base, and he does his own, like, he runs the operations. Like, he is Big Boss in this episode, in this video game Metal Gear. I forget which one it is. I don't want to say. I think Five is Snake Eater. It might be Six. It's the Phantom Pain one, right? So, you know, as you play that game, you know, you got to take him back to the base. He got a shower, you know what I'm saying? And they could be smelling stink. He'd be having flies around him, right? And, you know, he'd be having blood on his clothes. And then you go back, you wash. You know, he don't take off his clothes, of course. It cleans the blood off the clothes, Right? Then, like, you know, as you go into the game, you get better at the missions, right? Now, you can use non-lethal attacks in the game. And then you can use kill attacks, lethal attacks in the game. So, for people that play the game using lethal attacks, after a while, the blood that he has on his clothes stains his whole body, his face. He got a horn like a piece of metal sticking out of his head, first of all. But, you know, he, after a while, the blood on his clothes stains. He can't wash it off. That's like Demon Mode Snake. It's funny that it's named Snake and Demon Mode at the same time. It's hilarious. But that's the Chimera. But you see what I'm saying? When he's in that red, you can't clean his blood. Like, you can't clean it. I even tried to change the character because I used to get tired of watching him in all that blood running around. And you can't, like, not clean, not only clean him off, but when you pick a different character, they're filled and covered with blood, too. It's like, you know, representing blood on your hands and, you know, those type of situations. So that kind of shows how too much killing is to get you to a point where you don't have no, like, I don't know, like, remorse, feelings. You become like a tool. But see, even the wickedest things are used by God. You see what I'm saying? So you become a destroyer for God, basically. A lot of other mortals and beings don't really understand the dynamics of things needing to be destroyed, too, just as well as things need to be built and sustained. You see what I'm saying? But that's one example of how a person can be in the military, let's say, just say the military, because he's in the military, and he gets so much blood on his hands that he don't, they can't wash the blood off his body. Then, you know, the, 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 the second example I thought of was like Street Fighter. Like the nigga Akuma, bro. Son Akuma is three stages of himself. He be a person that studies the martial arts, assassin style martial arts, right? Then he has the levels of using, like channeling that energy through his chakras and shit, right? Till he gets to the tippy top level of using that ability. And then he has a stage where he merges with that energy. The Ani. Ani. Right? 
So he literally becomes the demon. The reason, you know, in Street Fighter, literally, the darker though is the people that have the urge to kill, right? Like, that's what that is in Street Fighter. You play Street Fighter all the time. You know what I'm saying? And when 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 Akuma is out there fighting, you see what I'm saying? And Darker Doe, he's he fights with killing intent. But it's certain things about Akuma too that makes it see like he's just a like an instrument more so than somebody that's wicked. You see what I'm saying? He only fights those he deems strong enough or stronger. He doesn't fight weaker beings. And at times, he'll even protect a weaker being. See what I'm saying? The um, raging demon move he uses. Yo, I didn't even know this. That's one of the moves he uses. That's like a, like he inflicts pain on the person based on their karma. Like, I'd never heard that before until like not too long ago. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like that, that kind of made mad sense. Like it took the, but see, Akuma had a dark spirit, but he wasn't a bad person. See what I'm saying? He learned martial arts. He wanted to run shit. You see what I'm saying? He couldn't run it. It's the same thing like Lucifer shit. You see what I'm saying? He couldn't run it. Then the nigga ended up trying to like kill a master. He couldn't kill a master. He left, went to the caves. It's something about caves. Because the Dracula movie, the nigga went to the cave to become the Vlad, the Impaler. It's something with the caves sometimes. I don't know. Especially when it comes to like people doing dark shit. The bison nigga went to the cave to get rid of his, his, his conscience. Put it in his door. They killed his wife and shit. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, they be killing, they be shutting doors of compassion on themselves. Ryu is somebody that has a pure heart. Hold on. <sighs> Mouth is getting dry. Ryu is someone that has a pure heart, but, like, has that ability in him because he's actually Akuma's son. Right? So, the darker doe, it's like he masters both. But the darker doe be trying to take over him. That's why they got the evil Ryu. Which is Ryu using killing techniques to kill and destroy his opponent. Versus purity not trying to destroy your opponent. But matching them with your pure strength. Which is even stronger than that energy. Because it's like anger. You know what I'm saying? Is what, 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 what. Akuma fights off of when he's using the levels of martial arts. But when he goes into Omni, Omni, right? The nigga is like one. It's like it's like Super Saiyan um Ultra Instinct, but for evil people. So he don't have no compassion. He don't have no feelings. You see what I'm saying? He just like does what he do. It's not it's more of a warrior thing. You see what I'm saying? And Ryu, you know what I'm saying, on the purer side of things, when he was going through it, conquered that energy. Conquer that urge to kill. Even if you know how to kill. You see what I'm saying? So that's like the darker doe. That's like the spirit form of that demon energy. And then it like, you know what I'm saying? Him tapping into it. And then him using it. And then him getting really good at using it. And then him merging with it. But then I think some people be weak spirit energies. And they don't know it. They be in big strong bodies sometimes too. But they be weak spirit energies. And then when these energies do the same thing to them, like 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 Akuma, you see what I'm saying? These spirits be so weak in spirit form, these physical forms, that instead of them merging with the, the demon energy, they, they get overcame by it. Now I'm not agreeing with either, but I'm just saying. I was pondering. The extraordinary ponderation of the day is can demons merge with beings? You know, instead of them just always being possessed by them. And according to the Street Fighter analogy and the Metal Gear Solid analogy and even Bison for what he did in the Chung Lee story where he killed his wife to put his emotions into his baby, then hid his daughter from the world, ran around murdering shit, mad, cold-blooded, heartless, you know, shadow law. And then, you know what I'm saying? They was trying to get her back, and then he had to get her back, and he, you know, that whole situation. He ended up dying in that movie, though, so, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, they probably, he was probably trying to make sure nobody killed her, because then, like, his emotions would have came back. So, killing numbs the emotions, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, you know, telling people what to do. I'm just saying from the analogy, you know what I'm saying? Demon time is an action that people say is not actually... You see what I'm saying? 
yeah, bad things come from when they say that, but it's not like they're actually, like, that energy, what you call a demon, man, is ravenous. It's like, it can't even, it, a, a, a demon will sit there and, and, and scratch his skin off until it bleed type shit. Just because it want to harm the, the human being that is in. It don't even have heart for that being. So I don't know why a lot of people act like when they join any kind of demonic lesion that it's going to be any form of love there. That is going to be any form of well-being there. That is going to be any form of somebody actually giving a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what a person that's possessed do. They they don't just like hurt people. They hurt themselves. They 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 mad wow. It's outrage outrageous to how you would notice that energy. So when you, people say demon time, they still be in their conscious mind. They just be angry. It'd be like a kuma time, big might as well say. You know what I'm saying? Because demon time in, in itself is a ravenous destruction, distorted energy to the point where it's self-destructing not only what's around it but its whole entire inner circle too you see what i'm saying so they just they they when people say demon time i think what they really be meaning to say is like warrior time like you know what i'm saying they on warrior time because you know warrior time is go time it's like go time all time you know what i'm saying it's like you prepare to go and you just train to go until it's time to go. Even if there's no time to go. That's why sometimes niggas in the military go crazy. Because they be sitting there shooting their gun. Training so many years. Four, five, eight years, twelve years of training. And never go to war and never get to shoot anything. And then they be sitting there. And the ones that don't have a strong mental capacity. Or the ones that have mental illness. They may go AWOL and and and. Do some stuff because they had a movie like that with the guy. He had he just had to shoot. He just had to. He, been watch, he was watching those people the whole time with that sniper rifle. And he just, they told him, yo, it's over. We don't even got to do nothing. And then he was just like, nah. He ended up shooting them anyway. Because he was, you see what I'm saying? He wasn't supposed to though. But he did it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. That's my, my, my conversation. I believe that, you know, demons can merge with physical beings. Demons can talk through beings just like angels and gods God, you know angel the holy the holy spirit the father the son for lack of better definitions of their being in essence right the same way they can use vessels of purity is the same way that the devils the lucifers the beelzebubs the zazus and all the motherfuckers can use beings as vessels too that's distorted you see what i'm saying and when a person constantly falls to those that sin of that anger or that wrath or that, you know, jealousy, they open a portal to hell inside of their vessel. So then there's more other beings go inside of their vessel and then they become tormented in the head and they don't know where it's coming from. But the actual sin of jealousy, envy, those type of sins are aligned with the princes of hell. The seven deadly sins are the princes of hell, basically. Let's just let's just keep it all the way a thousand. You feel me? And what what that is, that means that means when somebody is 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 super prideful in a negative way, that's Lucifer running through that. When somebody is super wrathful, that's Satan running through that. And they're not different beings. And I'm just using these names as, you know, context to make my points. But there's probably all different aspects of a negative chakra system. Seven of them. Seven virtues. So you can have a seven chakra system that runs on seven sins. And you can have a seven chakra system that runs on seven virtues. That's in what I believe. And then it taps you into the purity or the distortion. I'm not even going to say evil and good no more. Just the purity and the distortion. Both sides have double poles. There's an extreme good, and there's a there's a minimum good. There's an extreme bad, and there's a minimum bad. But then there's good and bad. You see what I'm saying? So there's a, it's an extreme purity, and there's a minimum purity. There's an extreme distortion, and there's a minimum distortion. You feel what I'm saying? Within the polarities of the duality anyway. So it makes it dual. So it's like six. Like it's the dual itself, but then inside of itself is also dual. 
So it's four, it's quad when you combine them, but then it, it plays out as dual. So yeah, man, it's your boy Cups the Universe, aka Poet Lounge, aka PD Mossberg. And yeah, I just believe that people can be merged with demons or they can be overcome by them when they overuse their energy, when this shit is 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 giving you wishes and is taking away your life forces as payment and you don't even realize it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just something to think about. A ponderation to ponder. Something to consider. You know what I'm saying? And whatever way you want to say, as thought forms, as whatever, magnetic beings, as spatial, temporal, void beings, whatever. Anything you can think of has beings in a whole makeup system for it. In a macro level that you can't perceive. Or in a level that you still can't perceive. It may not have to be macro. It might be, you know, it might be even scale with your scale. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, it's your boy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody stay safe outside. You know what I'm saying? I hope everybody have a blessed and safe, you know, 4th of July and all that. I'm not really big on the holidays and stuff, but that's my personal thing. And I just want to say I hope everybody stays safe. Everybody that I know want to still see you moving and breathing and kicking and jumping and Taking care of your seeds and all that. There's way too many people dying left and right. And too much stuff going on. But who am I to judge? And who am I to say what's really what? I'm not in the mix of these things. I don't know the dynamics. I don't know the principalities that's happening within these quotes. It's none of my... I can't really interject my, my opinion. To be honest and respectful to all of those who live at live a life that's, that's, that's you know close to that. You know what I'm saying? But cause I have respect for those people too. But you know, I just I just can't contribute to that. Period. You know what I'm saying? So salute to everybody out there, man. I will have a safe one. Everybody be blessed and have it. enjoy your family and loved ones. You know what I'm saying? And be in the spirit of enjoying prosperity. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cups the Universe once again. And I'm out. Peace.